Call Handle on the News starts now. <laughs> handle on the News. That's our friend, Handle on the News. And now, here's Bill Handel. Uh, the invasion continues. We're going to be covering a lot of that today. Uh, some uh, different spins on it, or at least different uh, aspects of it. Maybe I shouldn't use the word spins. Uh, interesting guests coming in at 8 o'clock. Uh, a woman who is a talk show host in Ukraine. She does a show in Ukraine. She is joining us and will um, also, interesting lady, a uh, former Miss Ukraine, you know, just uh, all of it. Like I'm a, a former Mr. Mr. America, you know, Mr. Universe. Uh, we have, we're very similar. She has a lot of hair. Okay, let me say a quick hello. What? I'm just saying, hold on. I'm just trying to compare the two of us. Not going well. No, but the talk show host part is. That part? Uh, I'll give you that. Yeah, and oh, wait, you mean on her head she has hair unlike you? Is that what you meant? Mainly, and she's on Radio Kiev 98 FM. Oh. Hey, listen, I hey, yeah, I'm uh, Anyway, that's uh, Nadia Vasina. You know, I wonder what their imaging is like. Like ours. You know, KFI. We did a job, or whatever the hell our imaging does. Uh, every, it changes every couple of days. Okay. Uh, all of that is happening today. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, a lot of it is UK, uh, U, the UK stuff. And uh, what else? Lockout. Major League uh, Baseball lockout. We'll give you a little bit of history on that. And um, last night was uh, the President's State of the Union address. Uh, one minute, I figure about 40, 45 minutes usually. A minute or an hour, two minutes. Uh, including some standing ovation from Republicans, which you never see. Usually they sit on their hands whenever a Democratic president is speaking, as Democrats sit on their hands when a Republican president is speaking. Now, are you doing a segment recapping that? or I am. Okay. I am. So just when you when you say things in a State of the Union speech like, defund the police? No. Fund the police. Great line. You're, it doesn't matter who you are. You're going to get Republicans out of their seats for that. You certainly are. And Dem- yeah. I mean, everybody. Everybody yeah. in the chamber there, yeah. I didn't, now they didn't show everybody. Right. There might have been a couple of you know who right. who stayed in their did seat. You, did, you already, did you notice uh, there were lots of seats empty? Well, they purposefully limited I know, but, but that's yeah. A, yes, they did. But I, that's the yeah. first time I didn't see the place just crammed where people were sitting on each other's laps. I know two of ours. So Diane Feinstein didn't go because of her husband passing. And uh, Alex Padilla didn't go because he uh, tested positive for COVID. Right. So there's a so few, two are gone. two of those. Yeah. Uh, and but there were empty. They should have uh, had last minute seating like you can do with musicals. Oh, standby. Yeah. <laughs> have a lottery <laughs> for, for a ten dollar ticket. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, right, you guys ready to do it? Yeah. Time for a handle on the news on this uh, Wednesday morning with Jennifer Jones, Lee, Wayne, and me. Lee Story. <laughs> State of the Union address, uh, the president, actually, uh, he, I'm not going to say the word left out, uh, but what he did is he came in with a huge advantage in that he started with Ukraine, and uh, that's uh, the position of the president and the United States and the Western world is very popular, uh, and because we all hate the Russians. I mean, this is truly a good, bad situation. It's, a, it's like World War II, good, bad. And so he uh, spent some time talking about that. And you have to give him credit. I said this yesterday. You have to give him credit for uh, coalescing the Western world. You got 30 members of the uh, European Union. And they have divergent views. They're not all the same. You've got allies um, of the United States, very strong pro-United States position. You have people that deal with Russia and need it. You have people that are fairly neutral uh, or countries are fairly neutral. He put everybody together. And tactically, it was very smart. Didn't start, the United States didn't start the sanctions. He let Europe start the sanctions, and the U.S. joined later on. 
I mean, he's going to be given a lot of credit for how he handled this, but this is his wheelhouse, too. And he's met Putin a whole bunch of times, has known him. And uh, yesterday I heard uh, one of the reporters say, last time he met Putin, he looked at Putin and said, pointed to him and said, you have no soul. Right to his face. That tells you a little bit about the relationship between Putin and uh, the president. You also wonder if Putin cares. That's just got whatever. No, he doesn't care. Except whatever now, well, he's caring now. They're out of money. The economy is tanking. The ruble is worthless. It's under a penny per ruble. Uh, it's go ahead. Just because the whole, we're all talking about all these tensions and they're tanking their economy and oh boy they're getting hit hard. Mm -hmm. And they are. But do we have a good sense? of what the ordinary Russian people are thinking and doing. Because isn't the point of all of these sanctions to make it intolerable for the yeah. Russian people so that they yeah. will rise up one way or another and either demand an end to this invasion or go even okay. farther and get rid of him? And do we know if that's happening? We don't. Or do they just put up with whatever misery comes their way? It, it depends. Uh, I think uh, at this point, uh, Putin has taken control over the media 100%. There is no dissension whatsoever. So the Russian people are only getting uh, the information from the state. Uh, Internet access is blocked, so there they are, much like North Korea. Uh, they're just getting a piece of information. Uh, also, uh, he has become very powerful. He's just a, he's a single dictator, a full dictator. This is the closest that anybody, any. Uh, uh, I think uh, any Soviet leader has been since Stalin. And so we don't know. But I, I tell you, I, I look at the ruble. It used to be right now the ruble, or now uh, you have uh, economies or you have currency floating on the world market. Russia and China used to determine the value of their own currency. And people didn't buy or did buy. It was just a bunch of BS. Originally, the ruble during the Cold War was a dollar and a quarter. Because Russia determined it was. You wanted to deal with Russia, you had to accept the ruble at a dollar and a quarter. Because they mandated it. Well, it turned out they had to float it. Uh, because you can't maintain it in a world economy. you calling the value of your own currency. And so it floats. It goes up and down, which made the dollar, of course, from the strongest economy in the world. The ruble is under a penny. If they're going to have to break like Weimar Republic in Germany in the 20s. You want to buy a loaf of bread, there will be a real barrel full of money where the cost of the paper is more expensive than the value of the money. We'll come back with more. In the meantime, Jennifer, the latest from you. Here's the latest news on the invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine State Emergency Service says over 2,000 civilians have been killed in this first week of war. A Russian missile hit a national police building in Ukraine as a 40-mile military convoy continues to close in on Ukraine's capital. We're going to talk more about that in just a second. Annapolis has suspended all sales of its products in Russia following the country's invasion of Ukraine. That includes sales of iPhones, MacBooks, and accessories. Your SoCal weather from KFI, sunny today with highs from around 70 at the beaches to the mid-80s inland. This report is brought to you by WDC Kitchen and Bath. Let's take a look at your drive with massive delays on the 405. Well put, Jennifer. Listen up, i got to give you the short version, but here we go. South 405, about halfway up the hill before Mulholland. Only, only the carpool lane is open. South 405 is now stopped all the way back to Roscoe Boulevard. The obvious alternative is to pull over the Boulevard. Now that is getting slower and slower. It's now back up through Magnolia going to Burbank. If you can get on, somehow use any street, get on the South 405 at Valley Vista, your pass the problem is on your way. Also heavily impacted east and west 101 to the South 405. It's all balled up. A lot more coming up. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. Visit WDC Kitchen and Bath in Moore Park for the open box sale. Get 75% off on appliances now through March 31st. Don't miss out on huge savings. Go to WDCAppliances.com. That's WDCAppliances.com. This report is sponsored by Whole Foods Market. Cook with veggies that steal the show at Whole Foods Market. Get organic asparagus for $3.49 a pound through March 8th, plus an extra 10% off for Prime members while supplies last. Promotion varies by location type. See terms and exclusions on our app. 
five minutes and coffee like six times. <laughs> Today, you know, caffeine awareness month. Woo! -hoo, I'm super aware. Now your top reasons to visit Maluda. Fresh brewed giveaway. Get a cake up coffee maker when you earn 500 points on your rewards card. The seven or eight. Number two. Art of Rats Live featuring Ice Tea, March 26th. Get your tickets now. And the number one reason. The marketplace is coming. The marketplace is coming. The marketplace is coming. Mirango, good time. When I moved into the house, I realized that um, mine was the only one in the neighborhood without solar panels. So I did the research, and Solar Max Technology was the best. They're local, they know their stuff, they got great prices. Right now, you can call Solar Max and get the new Tesla 420 watt panel package for zero down, $79.96 a month with a 1.99% APR. Get the best. Call Solar Max. Dial pound 250 from your cell and say the yeah. keyword Solar Max or go to solarmaxtech.com. Monthly payment available on approved credit. See us opening our ninth for Tuesday for you. Yeah. Crispy Jumbo Shrimp is back in Del Taco's new cheesy, melty, toasty, stuffed quesadilla jumbo shrimp tacos. Get them with fresh guacamole, too. Duck quesadilla jumbo shrimp tacos. Only for a limited time and only at Del Taco. Del, yeah. Getting a Tesla Model 3 can take months, but at Autonomy, you can get one in as little as a week. I'm Scott Painter, CEO of Autonomy. Autonomy is a whole new way to access the Model 3 with no long-term commitment required. For full terms, check us out at autonomy.com. The nefarious murder plot, a jealous brother, and the most secretive nation on the planet, Big Brother North Korea's Forgotten Prince, is the podcast that dives into the motives behind the 2017 assassination of the oldest son of North Korea's first dictator, Kim Jong-il. In North Korea, as in the mob, it's business. It's not personal. When somebody challenges you, that challenger must be eliminated. Listen to Big Brother North Korea's Forgotten Prince on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Over 35 million Americans have some level of dental anxiety. Cutting Dental specializes in people that have severe dental anxiety and people that need major work from years of neglect. They'll soothe your fears. They'll do your dental work while you sleep with either a gentle twilight sleep or a full anesthesia. And they can repair years of neglect in one or two appointments. You will wake up to a new, beautiful smile, good dental health. And they do it all. Dental implants, crowns, root canals, full smile makeovers, and new permanent teeth in a day. Cutting Dental has been rebuilding smiles for over 53 years. They're a veteran-owned business. Call now and get up to $1,500 off on major treatments. Offer expires April 30th. Restrictions apply. Get a free exam, x-ray, CT scan. You call Cutting Dental now at 888 640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. Remember, $1,500 off on major treatments. The offer expires April 30th, so call now. 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. Here's an idea. Don't bet on nonsense. Why go get a job? How about that? Yeah, because some people hailed the crypto market because they thought it was a place for just everyday investors. John and Ken. Well, you can take all your money and set fire to it in your backyard. Weekdays at 2 on KFI. KFI AM 640. Bill Handel here on Wednesday morning, March 2nd. Uh, we have a lot to cover today. Uh, good news. Uh, today, uh, or actually by uh, Friday, no more masks. Well, no more requirement masks in LA County, most indoor settings. And that be, are we indoor settings? Yes, we are. We do not broadcast outdoors. Let's return. <laughs> let's return to handle on news, Jennifer Wayne and me. I have uh, some new tidbits of info for you on this story about Russian forces stepping up the attack on Ukraine civilian areas. We saw yesterday the satellite imagery of this 40-mile convoy that was headed toward Kyiv. I spoke with Aaron Katursky this morning, who is in Ukraine, and I asked him how close was this convoy to Kyiv. He says... Surprisingly, not that close. For whatever reason, yesterday the convoy got bogged down, and there are a number of different reasons that are coming out about this. One is that they ran into a shortage of food for the soldiers, fuel for the tanks and trucks that were headed that way, uh, that morale might be an issue with the troops, because there, was apparent, there were apparently some troops, Russian troops, who were told they were simply on an exercise. 
and that they may have been the ones who sat sabotaged their own oh, fuel yeah. tanks to stop this from happening. Could be. It makes sense uh, when you think about it, because if they're not told uh, here, and especially the ones that are uh, watching or attacking civilian targets, that is what's going on now. Civilian buildings are being shelled. And there are civilians trying to get in the way yeah. of the tanks and trucks that come through. All right, closer to home, flesh will be pressed today as Supreme Court nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson will meet with congressional leaders. You know, I feel bad for these nominees. They get nominated. They generally are well qualified, a couple of exceptions uh, in history. And then they still have to go around politically and, do the and meet everybody and, yeah. and, you know, yeah. make nice and all of that. Yeah. So everybody, it's just, it's, it's a dog and pony show. They have to go and go and stare. And they go to the senator from Texas. Hey, I love my boots. And that the shotgun that I have in the back of my truck, I'll never get rid of. And then you go to Idaho. Man, potatoes are my thing. <laughs> There's nothing like Idaho potatoes. Uh, and that's what they do. Uh, she got to meet with uh, Schumer and Mitch McConnell and then the the two main uh, ranking members of the Judiciary Committee, Durbin and Grassley. Yeah. And, then, and then you're right, she'll get to probably every senator yeah, absolutely. before this is over. All right, L.A. County is expected to drop its indoor mask mandate on Friday, as you mentioned, Handel. Now, L.A. County Health Director Barbara Ferrer, though, says she's still waiting for the CDC to rate the county's risk level so that she can come to some sort of an end of most indoor masking. She says there will be some exceptions. Masks are required for everyone who uses public transit. For all of those in emergency shelters, healthcare settings, correctional and detention facilities, homeless shelters, and long-term care facilities. Here's the one thing that she told the Board of Supervisors yesterday that I bet she gets nailed on with questions today. She says the county is not ready to uh, go with the state's new health order. How is the county not ready to go with the state's new health order when they knew that it was coming? How can you say that you were not prepared for this? It's because it's the county is its own health department. doesn't necessarily have to follow uh, the state, much like a city within the county that has its own health department. I think Burbank does and a few other cities. But then why would a city like Burbank that has its own health department be ready and L.A. County not? Uh, because it depends on who you want to follow. Uh, a city has the ability, uh, counties have the ability, states have the ability to make their own decisions. I just bet she's going to get nailed with what makes L.A. County any different than Orange County or any different than Long Beach or whatever that is going to go along with these mandates. Yeah. So food. Oh, so food. <laughs> Bill, this may, be, this may be your favorite part of today's show. <laughs> It's time for another Bill Handel Show Snowpack Report. But yes, the Snowpack Report is in, but it's not. The results no, are not good. Not good. The statewide snowpack at 63% of normal to date. The snow melt forecast is only 56% of average. The reservoirs are not full, and they don't think there'll be enough snow melting to fill them up. No, we had a, the worst couple of months, even though in December... Uh, the rains were just massive, uh, more so than, uh, I think, in decades and decades, and didn't do it. It's drought. We're in the middle of a drought, and it's going to go on, and it probably won't stop, and uh, it's, uh, the water wars are coming. Now, many, many uh, actually war experts, uh, national security experts, say the wars in the future are going to be over water. And I can see that. Cyber wars also will happen, but the, the issue will be over water. All right. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. There's new video that shows what led up to this deputy-involved shooting inside a Walmart store in Foothill Ranch. So it was one of the loss prevention people who called 911, and they said, this guy's walking around, he's got a fake receipt, it's common fraud we see, he's got the receipt loaded on his phone, and he's walking around picking up all the things that are on this receipt. So the video shows the deputies arriving at the store. Once they go inside, deputies spot one of the suspects. He was at the store with a woman, according to the footage. One of the deputies is heard telling the couple that Walmart is refusing them service because they feel like you guys are about to steal. I guess you have a fake Walmart receipt on your phone, says one of the deputies. 
Well, the man, Aguilar, responds by nodding his head and saying no. He and the woman are denying the accusations when they're trying to leave. That's when the deputies notice that Aguilar has a gun. And they tell him, get your hands off the knife. Or, I'm sorry, the knife. They say, get your hands off the knife. Sorry, sir, says Aguilar. Deputies try and cuff Aguilar, but then he starts to struggle. And that's when they notice he had a gun. They yell, he's got a gun. And then that's when the shooting happened. Yeah, a couple questions. Uh, did he reach for the knife? Did, did, in fact, he remove his hands from the knife? We don't have that in the story. No. Uh, and no, no. was the gun, for example, in his waistband, did he grab the gun and move it in such a way that it was threatening or was it still on his person? So there, there are a lot of questions, and the story doesn't tell us all. By the way, if uh, it turns out that all of that didn't happen, uh, oh, what a lawsuit. Yeah, but he, no, not here, because he is a felon, so he's not even supposed to touch a gun. I don't think that matters. And he's already pleaded guilty. I think he pleaded guilty to uh, the issue of uh, a felon with a gun, but that doesn't yeah. mean but that doesn't mean that there is liability. Uh, I think there's still a lawsuit there. And not, not a good one. I, not, well, a good, not if he had a knife and a gun. I understand, but didn't they, but didn't one, they uh, at least plausibly in the middle of trying to perpetrate a fraud on the store. Again, I don't, I don't I, see it going. I know what I you're do. saying. Anybody can file anything. Yeah, I but I know what's going I think, I think being shot oh. under those circumstances, and if there was no threat. Dead. And he's not dead. Uh, and there's nothing here that says he was severely injured. It's, I, think it's, I think it's a lawsuit because if it turns out that there was no threat at any time, I think he has a lawsuit. All right, let's just... Uh, Move on and do one more. All right. Um, oh, gosh. Some uh, patrons got into a fight at a restaurant in Westminster, and during that fight, one of the guys was uh, hit in the head really badly. He has passed away. The fight happened last month. He has passed away now, and so it becomes a homicide investigation. It started out as a fight, and now could be murder, could be manslaughter. And that's your yeah. uh, buddy Todd Spitzer's territory. Sure, blunt force okay. trauma and multiple skull fractures. You get that like, just by falling, uh, just it's by being possible. hit and it's hitting your head, or being hit and falling. Uh, yeah. They don't know who did it at this point. They uh, are like, just asking it's for not clear information. How many people were involved right. in this skirmish? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're coming back with a lot more handle on the news, but how about some news on the Ukraine front, uh, Jennifer? Here's the latest news on the invasion of Ukraine. Russian troops have intensified their offensive in Ukraine. There have been more reports of attacks on civilian areas. A Russian convoy is moving closer to the capital city. ABC's Ian Panel spoke to the Ukraine's former president, Pr uh, Poroshenko, in Kyiv. You're getting a lot of support and a lot of solidarity from the outside world, from America and Europe and elsewhere. Is it enough? Look, frankly speaking, we definitely need more. He says they need more Stinger missiles to knock out Russian helicopters on social media. A video shows people in southern Ukraine trying to block advancing Russian soldiers with their bodies. A Russian missile has hit the National Police Building in Kharkiv, and paratroopers have stormed a military hospital. President Biden told Congress during the State of the Union his top priority is getting prices under control. One way to fight inflation is to drive down wages and make Americans poor. I think I have a better idea to fight inflation. Lower your costs, not your wages. Biden reiterated America's commitment to standing with Ukraine as it fights the Russian invasion. The president says the economy is strong and touted the bipartisan infrastructure law. He says one goal of that is to provide affordable, high-speed internet for everyone. Biden took a moment during his speech to honor retiring Supreme Court Justice oh Stephen God. Breyer. Biden has nominated Ketanji Brown Jackson to take Breyer's place. It confirmed she would be the first black woman to serve on the high court. Rick Caruso, the billionaire developer running for mayor of L.A., says he supports the recall of L.A. County D.A. George Gascon. Caruso had once donated to the campaigns of Gascon and former D.A. Jackie Lacey, but he says Gascon has failed to make a difference. George Gascon needed to stand up, admit that many of his policies had put the city of Los Angeles in peril, crime is rising, change those policies, or he should step down. Caruso says he's also kicking in some cash to help gather the necessary signatures to put the recall on the ballot. Steve Gregory, KFI News. New research shows California is the least 
literate state in the nation. The nonpartisan organization World Population Review says only 77% of adults are considered mid to highly literate. Research shows California has a surplus bigger than many states' entire budget and has for years spent about 13% less than the national average on K-12 schools. School spending is only one factor shaping the state's literacy rate. The state has the most diverse population in the country with more than 200 languages spoken here. New Hampshire is the most literate state in the country. Deborah Mark, KFI News. And Ford has announced plans to divide its operations into two parts. Its electric car division will be called Ford Model E, and its internal combustion engine side will be known as Ford Blue. Ford says the change will help streamline its growing electric vehicle business and increase profit. Your, let's, we'll take a look at your drive that is on the 605 in just a moment. Opening day for Major League Baseball is not March 31st anymore. Players unanimously rejected the latest offer made by owners to end the lockout. It's the first time in 27 years that regular season games will be missed due to a work stoppage. Although there are a lot of specific disputes, Max Scherzer says it's ultimately about one big concern. We still feel that there's dollars to be allocated towards them that would fairly compensate their contributions on the field. Uh, more so than what's on the table at this point. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Navigating Medicare uh, can is overwhelming for so many people. First of all, there are tons of plans out there. They change every year. So whether you're on Medicare and you're looking at maybe a switch and it makes sense, or you're going to be on Medicare and you want to be on the best plan, let me suggest contacting the folks at AGA Medicare Options. And here's what they do. They help you make the right decision. And they are uh, offering, or they're inviting you, a free dinner and educational medical seminar. No enrollment, no sales, just give your appetite. And they are, their team of experienced agents will advise Wednesday, you step by step on a plan that fits you, your situation, your budget. Plans that are accepted by your physicians, lowest on the top of uh, they have events coming up in the San Diego, Santa Ana, Irvine, LA, they online for a full list of dates and locations. Also, you can dial pound 250 on your cell and just say My Medicare. Pound 250 on your cell, say My Medicare, or visit ACAMedicareOptions.com. So, how about this from KFI? Sunny today with highs from around 70 at the beaches to the mid 80s inland. But then much cooler starting tomorrow with clouds rolling in and a chance of showers through Saturday. Let's take a look at your drive on the 605. All right, come on. We got to rewrite right the business. We got a couple of bad issues to worry about. As I speak here, we're right over the 5, 605, anything, a fly ball. I mean, it's a bad crash up by Whitney Boulevard. I can definitely back to the backup. It's through the I 5 and using Rose and Boulevard. I had a look at that coming down here. That's a pretty good shake up for the 60s. So, bottom at the moment, uh, North Side is okay up to the detail end. The other enormous problem is getting out of the San Fernando Valley. We left it down 405 before Mahomes on the uphill side. It was only the park we line open. The good news is that these dogs are trying to clear the crash. But the South 405 is not just north off. Just it off. It's a terrible step all the way down. East of West 101 to the South 405. That's all back up. And some part of the boulevard is used up quickly. From the 182, the South 5, South 1 Center is get the job done for you. If you can get on, South 405 is valid up there. That's the trend. After that point, you're all clear up there. That's the light. More on the 605 coming up. I can see a lot of lanes are blocked up there. Wood here. Jeff Fog, AFI in the sky. Make Caliber Garage Doors your number one choice for new garage doors. Right now, $200 off. It's going to be $6.99 installed. It's going to be bottom field and hallway. I'm Jared Buckley, the president of Caliber Garage Doors. And our personal guarantee will be any advertised product. CaliberGarageDoors.com. CaliberGarageDoors.com. The end of the day is always packed at once. Thing is, we need a sooner rush to keep up with expenses. So, well, I looked at my own radio campaign, iHeartAdBuilder.com, to advertise our weekly special.